of a terrorist attack here at home has also been the top priority of officials in the United States. So we want to bring in our senior justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, who just sat down for an exclusive interview with Attorney General Eric Holder. And Pierre, the Attorney General is a pretty circumspect man, but on this subject, he doesn't seem to be pulling any punches. George, I've known and covered the Attorney General more than a decade, and I can tell you he was remarkably candid and quite blunt about the relentless nature of the terror threat the U.S. is combating. What keeps you up at night? The concern that perhaps that we might have missed something. The threat is real. The threat is different. Um, the threat is constant. In a rare interview, the Attorney General laid out the most pressing terror threats. Dangers, he said, that are more diverse and increasing. Among them, the new rapidly evolving threat posed by homegrown radicals. The threat has changed from simply worrying about foreigners coming here to worrying about people in the United States, American citizens, um, raised here, born here. You didn't worry about this even two years ago. In the last 18 months, at least 50 Americans have been charged with planning acts of terrorism. You learned of Fast and Furious for the first time. Uh, I learned of it uh, after the death of Agent Terry. And when did you learn that gun walking was part of Fast and Furious? Uh, I would say... Uh, sometime between his death and the early spring. He has shown a desire to harm the United States, a desire to strike the homeland of the United States. He is a person who, uh, an American citizen, familiar with this country, um, and he brings a dimension um, because of that American familiarity that others do not. And where would you rank him or can you rank him? He would be on the same list with Bin Laden, he's, he's up there. I don't know whether he's one, two, three, four, I, I don't know. But he's certainly on the list of the people who uh, worry me the most. Does the U.S. have a preference to prosecute it? Well, we certainly want to neutralize him, um, and we will do whatever we can um, in order to do of These people have been radicalized online. Maybe you see something suspicious. But you don't want to get involved. It's nothing, you think. Can you be sure? If you see something, say something. Report suspicious activity to local authorities. Hi, I'm Janet Napolitano, Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. Homeland Security begins with hometown security. That's why I'm pleased that Walmart is helping to make our communities more safe and secure. If you see something suspicious in the parking lot or in the store, say something immediately. Report suspicious activity to your local police or sheriff. If you need help, ask a Walmart manager for assistance. Thank you for doing your part to help keep our hometowns safe.